Broomfield, where investigators are trying to piece together the hours before a teenager was murdered. The body of 19-year-old Natalie Bollinger was found Friday off Riverdale Road in Adams County the day after she was reported missing. Our Karen Morfitt there tonight with more new information. Karen, investigators need help with the timeline in this case. Yeah, Jim, on Thursday, she was reported missing. On Friday, the very next day, someone passing through this area found her body. Today, at a news conference, the sheriff asked for anyone with information about that time period to come forward. The last 26 hours of 19-year-old Natalie Bollinger's life are a mystery. We don't have anybody who was either talking with her through social media or through text or in person or on the telephone. Family reported the teen missing on Thursday, December 28th. The following day, a body was discovered off a rural road in Adams County. We really didn't have a whole lot of information. We were still actually even trying to come up with a name, a, a way of trying to identify who she was. A Facebook post Bollinger made just one week before her disappearance fueled a firestorm of speculation on social media. The post was a public warning about a man she said had been stalking her for years. She filed a restraining order against that man, Sean Schwartz. We have talked to him um, and uh, again, not ready to call anybody a suspect. Schwartz made his own posts about the accusations, even calling Natalie a friend. Please help find her, please. I, I don't, um, please help. The Adams County Sheriff says the posts are part of their investigation, but warned of the trouble social media can cause. Our goal is, is to make sure that we're, we're not heading down a path, down a rabbit trail that we don't need to go down. Now, also on Schwartz's Facebook page, he did talk about his time with investigators, saying that he provided his phone, a computer, as well as his DNA, and was let go. The family of Bollinger did speak or did send out a statement this afternoon saying they were heartbroken and they did urge anyone with information to call the sheriff's office. We're live tonight in Adams County. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.